All right, Michael, one of our former High Five winners, Sarah Bain, of oh, shoots for the girls' state scoring record tonight. If she has an average night, she should do it. She needs 31. She averages 42 points a game. Our cameras are down there. We'll have all the highlights for you tonight at 11. And speaking of High Five, tonight we travel to Winthrop to meet a most courageous athlete who has no fear at all. We think you'll enjoy meeting Nelson Pereira. For most athletes, instant gratification can be the roar of approval from a most appreciative crowd. But even without the large crowds, in the solitude of a park, arena, or field, the subtle sounds, the swish of a net, or a simple crack of the bat, simple reminders that the athlete is either on target or perhaps needs more work. At Winthrop High School, there is a shot putter named Nelson Pereira, and this is what he hears at his workout. He hears nothing. Nelson has been deaf since birth, but his spirit and his will far exceed those of most athletes. Not only has Nelson overcome his deafness to earn, and we emphasize earn his spot on the Winthrop team, this winter, he was elected co-captain. And a quick check of the latest league standings show that he has thrown the shot put farther than any of his competitors in the Northeastern Conference. I'm very proud of myself. I'm really happy when I'm throwing this year. I'm 43 feet with 10 inches with my best throw this year. There's never been a time I can ever remember his being down. He's always got a smile. He's just, uh, um, he handles it far better than a lot of grown-ups around. <laughs> A short time ago, it was discovered that Nelson also has Usher's Syndrome 2, which will eventually cause him to go totally blind. But Nelson has bravely accepted the condition, like the many other obstacles that have been thrown at him. He is a walking role model who has affected the lives of those closest to him. Has it made you a better athlete and a better person just being around him? Yeah, I think so, you know. Because, um, you know, I always didn't really, really like treat athletes that great. But now, because Nelson does, you know, he's always a fair person. It's changed me a bit, too. So. You know, Nelson's great. He's a good friend, and he's a good sportsman, too. And, so, I, and he's a good captain. We're captains together, co-captains, and uh, he's great. Sometimes I feel like a normal guy. So I, just, I don't feel sorry for myself. People think I feel sorry. They th I, think, I thought they feel sorry for me, but I didn't mind. I told them not to be feel sorry for me. I never give up. I just do all my work. things in their perspective a little bit, huh? They always give us a tough holiday. Yeah, I just want to thank uh, Linda Hellyer, uh, who stood behind me in signs that I was asking Nelson, and Nelson uh, was reading my lips a little bit, but was watching the sign language, and uh, a terrific, terrific athlete, wow. as I uh, told him I'm very happy to meet him. That's Great. nice. Right. Congratulations, Nelson. Well deserved. And still